are so important. They are unique and useful and needed for our everyday life. We use our hands to pick up things, to eat with, to write, to type, so many different things, to lift things, to push things. Our hands are made of bones, tendons, muscles, and joints. Our joints allow us to bend our fingers when we're able to lift things and use them. Our hands has tendons that allows us to pull our hands together. Like if we want to make a fist or if we need to cup our hands to lift something, especially when we're gripping a spoon or gripping a pen. Our hands have these joints that we can use and it has muscles that has the strength to help lift. Now, when we don't have hands, how does that actually work? Well, it is called a prosthesis. We have prostheses when a person has a missing limb from their body. It could be not just their hands, it could be their leg. It could actually be their arm. And they're able to do things with a prosthesis just as well or close to having the natural limb. We are so fortunate that we have engineers who actually design prosthesis to make life easier for a person who has a missing limb. Hi, my name is Michelle Gay and welcome to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher, where it's all about science. Today, you're going to have a STEM challenge where you're going to make a robotic hand. The robotic hand acts just like a real hand that you're going to make. We're going to use a hand cut out. We're going to use straws. We're going to use string and tape. Our string is going to act as the tendons in our hands because the tendons pull our fingers together, the tendons pull and bend the joints. Our straws are going to act as the joints or the bones and in between the bones will be our joints. And so our hand should be able to pick up a piece of balled up paper like a Kleenex, something very light. Your challenge today is you're going to make a prototype when I show you step by step, but your challenge is to improve the prototype so that you can pick up something heavier than a paper towel or a Kleenex. Maybe you could pick up something really small like a paper clip or maybe a pencil. Are you ready for the challenge today? All right. So for this activity, you're going to need some tape, straws, scissors, string, and some type of card, top, card stock. It can be white, it can be brown, whatever color you need, but it has to be heavier than paper. The first step is to take your card stock, place your hand on it, and trace it. Then, cut it out carefully. Now that you have your hand cut out, look at your hand and notice where the lines are. These lines represent where your joints are, the bone is, and then the joint. And notice that even on this part, you have joints. And so all these work together when you're able to lift things. So I want you to take your pencil and you're going to draw where your joints 
are on your hand. Just mark and look at your hand because the distance does make a difference. If you notice on the thumb, there's one and then here in this area. Alright, now that you have labeled where your joints are, this is where you're going to put the straw pieces. You're going to cut your pieces to fit in between the joints. You do not want your straws to touch each other. They're going to need some space in order to bend. Now that you have your uh, straws cut into pieces and we have our joints labeled, we're going to take our straw and carefully tape it using uh, many pieces, a few pieces, so that it doesn't fall off when we put the string in. Also make sure you leave a little gap in between the two straws or it will not bend. So take your tape You want to put it on the top and on the bottom. You can see that's not sticking well. Alright, then you want to take your last one and just bring it down. It's much smaller. And you want to tape it on. You're going to take your straw and cut it into pieces for each uh, bone and leave a little gap for your joints. You're going to complete where you have the lines. So you're going to put one here, 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 and so forth. And even put one on each one of these. Now that you have your straws taped up at the top, the first three bones, now you're going to tape your next bone here where your fourth line is for your uh, segments that are the joints that are right here in this area. Here you're going to put a long straw, a longer piece of straw, here at the arm part to act as your wrist. And so you're going to tape there. Once you have these two pieces taped, you're going to take your string and thread it through the top, through these straws, then thread it through the long one. Now this does take a couple of minutes, but if you carefully do it, you can easily thread it through. Just pull it and see it comes out at the bottom. Now you want to pull a very long piece about this length. At the top, before you cut, you're going to tape your string on the back of the finger. Once you tape it, you can cut. Now you have your first finger done. Then you can test it out if you need to. And I can see that I have, I want it to bend a little bit more in between these two. 
notice that I have them too close together. So before you move on to the next fingers and tape, test out the first one to make sure, but it is bending really well. But I would like for it to bend a little bit more in this area. You're going to complete the rest of this prototype. Now that you have made your prototype, now it's time to test it. I have my paper towel balled up here and you should have all your strings thread through the bottom. And your prototype should look something like this. So I'm going to take it, pull the string, see if I can lift. I did. Now, can I hold it? Let's try it again. You have to get it at the right angle. There we go. Now, I was able to pick it up and hold it. Can't hold it too long because uh, this is really not the real hand. But now that you have your prototype, what changes can you make to improve this prototype? What other materials can you use to make it better? Can you use things like pipe cleaners? Can you use something other than straws? Can you use something other than cardstock maybe? Do you even need to make a hand? Those are some things that you can think about. And I want you to come up with the design using the design engineer design process. First, you're going to think about the question, how can I improve the robotic hand? Then you're going to brainstorm. Dump all your ideas out and things that you can do and things that you can create and how you can create it. Once you brainstorm, then you're going to draw out your plan. It is great as engineers, guys, to draw out what you're going to do and not just have it in your head. Because once you make that drawing, it is easy for you to do the next step. Gather your materials and make your design. Once you make your design, challenge yourself to pick up something else other than a balled up Kleenex or paper towel. If it does not work the way you want it to work, guess what? You get to go back and improve. That is the engineer and design process. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time at Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Have a wonderful day.